Suilis americanus, white pine bolete, or chicken fat bolete. No matter what you want to call this, these are edible mushrooms. Suilis americanus got its one common name, the chicken fat mushroom, because of the yellow color. And it also has texture somewhat similar to a chicken. And it's also very slippery. Suilis americanus also has a very interesting ecological niche as it's found in nature growing in association with the eastern pine tree. Now this area here has not only pines way up there, I'll put it right in the center of the picture, but you can see that there are also deciduous trees in this area, as well as a couple of cedars. But make no mistake, all these needles that you see on the ground are from the white pine. Now, Suilis americanus forms mycorrhizae with the eastern white pine. And from what I've read in several publications, it's only the eastern white pine, not even the western white pine or the sugar pine, which are closely related. But there is some conflicting evidence out there in regards to the western white pine. So if anyone who is watching this video, who lives where the western white pine grows, if you can let me know if you've seen these, I'd really love to know. Now, let's take a look. This is an older specimen, so this cap is quite large. Let me get that lighting better. The caps grow from anywhere from three to 10 centimeters, which is one to four inches. And this one right here is four inches very easily. The caps are convex. And when they're younger, let's see, like this one here, the margins, which is right on the, the edges here, are inrolled. The caps, as I mentioned before, these are quite slimy. You wouldn't think that they're edible, but they are. And let me just go back here. They get a little dingy yellow, as you can see with age, reddish brown patches. And here I've pre-cut some for you. These are the pores with a poor surface. It's yellow, a little bit darkish because the age of the mushroom. And I cut this not even five minutes ago and already it's starting to go brown. The stems, let me see if I can find a really good one here. I think down here, okay. The stems, let me just remove this. Well, I don't think it's going to, there we go. There we are. Those stems are also anywhere from three to 10 centimeters. Although these ones are rather, uh, they're more like five to six centimeters. So, but in any case, the stems grow anywhere from one to four inches. And they're not very thick, so maybe a centimeter across, which is barely half an inch. Now let's talk about the edibility part of these. They're not considered a choice edible. And what this means is that although the odor or the smell of this is somewhat bland. It really, oh, the, the taste is, well, let's put it this way. It's an acquired taste. It's certainly not nasty, but it is an acquired taste. And 
because these are somewhat slimy, and in some places are very slimy, they're very, very difficult to work with in the kitchen. So your best bet is to gather these and take them home. And as soon as you get them home, be prepared to spend some time in the kitchen and put them in the uh, dehydrator. This is certainly not the type of mushroom that you can expect to take home and put in the fridge for a day or two before you can do something with it. You have to work with it right away. So there you are, Suilus americanus, the white pine bolete. Thank you for watching. And thank you for your support. Oh, let's give you one peek here. The pine sap, not edible, but it's kind of cool seeing it here with uh, the Suilus americanus. Thank you.